The addition of a 650-pound beam marked the topping off of a new human-rated crew access tower at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station on December 10th during a ceremony attended by NASA's four commercial crew astronauts. Hundreds of employees and managers took part in the ceremony at Space Launch Complex 41. The tower is designed to give astronauts and ground support staff access to the Boeing CST-100 Starliner spacecraft as it stands on the launch pad before liftoff on a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. We also have the opportunity with a visit like this to talk to the folks that are putting it together and, and re-emphasize to them that this is a little bit different than maybe a lot of the launch hardware that they've built in the past because there are people who will be using it to uh, uh, ride into space. And so things that they do today will have consequences years from now, uh, years and years from now. And you look at the structure, there's math, science, engineering, there's all and hard work to make all this happen and so that's the things that we're emphasizing. It'll be nice to get the rocket on the pad with this uh, structure here and then have it where we're launching into orbit from the United States again with uh, manned crews. So we're really looking forward to it. NASA's commercial crew program is working in partnerships with Boeing and SpaceX to develop the next generation of American-made spacecraft that will launch astronauts to the International Space Station from Florida beginning in 2017. Prior to the ceremony at Cape Canaveral, the astronauts tour the crew access arm and white room they will use as they climb into the Starliner. Mounted on a stand identical to the top of the crew access tower, the 90,000 pound arm and white room will undergo months of testing to make sure the machinery will work right on launch day. It's the first new crew access structure to be built at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station since the 1960s. It's, uh, it's just so neat to see the progress that they've made already. Uh, and it's just one more step in that you're getting us back to flying from the U.S. So it's really exciting to be here and uh, to imagine uh, before too long we'll actually be walking through here with our spacesuits on.